It's fun to always focus on the new features that Evernote uh, installs into its software program. And lately, there have been a lot of new features to talk about. But I'm always aware of the fact that there are people who are coming to Evernote for the first time who need to understand the basics. So that's why I'm uh, doing this series on Evernote basics. Don't worry, I'll still cover all of the cool new things, but it's helpful to go backwards. So everybody understands that that part of Evernote's uh, app strategy is uh, to allow you to create notebooks, much like you would a paper notebook, you create digital notebooks. But one of the most helpful features that I use is the ability to create notebook stacks, stacks of notebooks that would all be related to the same topic. Stacks are very helpful when you have multiple notebooks in one area of your life. Example, uh, I might have a lot of different hobbies. And rather than creating a standalone notebook that appears under all of my notebooks, I'd like to have all of my hobbies appear under one notebook stack. So in this case, for hobbies, if you click the arrow here, you will see that all of my notebooks related to my individual hobbies or activities appears here. How did I do that? Let's close this. Let's begin by creating a notebook. And I'm going to create a notebook for client A. You can put the person's name in there or project, or if it's a hobby, you name the hobby. You've, you're creating a notebook for which all of the relevant materials, in this case for client A, uh, will reside. So I create the notebook. It is true that I could have a lot of notebooks in here and list, you know, 100 clients uh, in my notebook list, but that'll become a little overwhelming every time I go to my notebook page. So what I want to do is I want to create a stack for all of my clients, much like I did with hobbies. Here's how you do it. So I've created one note. I come over to the three dots and gives me a lot of options, one of them being Add to Stack. Very important. Uh, and when you click on it, you will see all of the stacks that you have created, but none of these apply to what you want to do. You want to create a new stack. So you click on that, and now you name the stack. So I will just call this Clients. Now I create a stack called Clients, which is up here, and it has automatically added that client note that we created just a couple of minutes ago. Now, once you have uh, your stack of clients set up, uh, you can create another notebook, and you can call this one Client B, and you can create it. And then once that is created, you just come over here and say, well, now I want it to the, add the stack for clients. You can also create a new notebook for client C, which I've done here. And then I can take this and merely click and hold to where it says client stack. Now it has moved that note to my client stack. Once I have this in here, if for some reason I'm no longer working with client C and I want to archive this notebook, which is part of the stack, I come over to the three dots again where it says more actions, and now I can remove it from the stack it becomes an independent notebook once again. Uh, at this point in time, if I had a notebook set up for archive, I could just slide it into the archive notebook. So even though you put it into a notebook stack, it's not there forever. This series on Evernote Basics is intended to not only help newcomers to Evernote, but also to remind us long-time users of Evernote of the simplicity and the importance of understanding some of the basic features so they can be part of our productivity routine. Don't miss any of these segments. Hit that subscribe button below.
And in case you are not aware, I have an online course called Evernote for Beginners. It really is an extension of this series of the basic elements of Evernote. Find out more at DaveEdwardsMedia.com and just click on Courses. <laughs>